Hello. Um, so yesterday, um, Natalie's Blooms got awarded um, the um, Favourite Neighbourhood Award uh, 2023 from uh, the Nextdoor app, um, which is absolutely amazing. So I wanted to take the opportunity to uh, thank everyone that voted uh, for my business. Um, I didn't even know there was a vote happening. Um, so I didn't sort of push it and say vote for me or anything like that because I had absolutely no idea that there was a vote going ahead. Um, so I just wanted to thank everybody for um, um, voting. Um, it means um, so much to me. Uh, this sort of past year, I think, has been the hardest uh, year that I've had as a business. Um, mainly the weather really, uh, the weather has been absolutely horrendous um, with downpours that just makes it um, nigh on impossible to get out to, to clients' gardens, particularly if the jobs are just solely um, mowing lawns, I've just not been able to, to do them. Um, and if it's absolute downpour then I can't really do anything because it, it, you're playing with mud in the, in, at the end of the day and it's just, it's no fun. And it, it, it's not um, a productive use of, of time because you can't really do what you need to do when it's just sloppy mud. Um, and so that's uh, seen a, a massive uh, decrease in earnings. So it's been really, really hard. Um, so um, to the point where, you know, I'm looking for part time employed work to go alongside Natalie's Blooms just to bring that stability of an income, really. Um, especially with winter as well because I've gone from five full days to two short days so it's a, a massive reduction in earnings. I'm now earning um, what I do normally in a week, I'm earning in a month now so it's it's massively decreased uh, and we've got bills to pay, we've got, our mortgage has gone up massively, um, rising costs and all that, you know, it, it's, uh, it, it requires me to get a part-time job which at the moment is fine because I've reduced down what I'm doing to... Uh, two days a week but obviously when the growing season kicks in in March uh, I'll still want to be in an, an employed uh, position because <clears throat> um, you know if I take holidays I'm paying twice because um, you know I'm, I'm not earning when I don't work uh, and with the weather as it's been I've not been earning very much at all I've been in and out of overdraft it's been not very nice at all um, particularly if big bills come along like we've had a lot of vet bills this year with two cats uh, sadly dying uh, but having to pay for medical bills previous to that as well um, my bank, bank balance has taken a massive hit this year um, so it's it's been a really tough year and um, so this this uh, award coming through the door um, was an, a, a real boost because I've been feeling a bit sort of um, my, my morale for the business I guess has not been quite there um, so this really was a massive boost um, and yeah as soon as I sort of came in the door last night from working and picking up my daughter it was there on the doormat and um, so I quickly got, got all excited and put a post on um, and I appreciate that it might have come across to some people like I was just uh, coming across like it was solely me that had achieved this award and that is not what my intentions were at all I literally threw together a post mid sorting out kids I mean I've got three children and a husband to have to sort out when I get home so it was literally a quick post um uh, you know and and I, perhaps I should have put um you know thanks to the team on the post which I have now amended uh big I, I, but to me Natalie's Blooms isn't just me it's um, the four of us you know there's three of us three people working for me and they do a fantastic job they work incredibly hard um, so you know it wasn't my intention to sort of exclude them at all um, you know like I say Natalie's Blooms to me is the whole package and that's kind of what I meant so I you know I apologise if it came across that it was just it was a one man show because it, it certainly isn't um, so, you know, a massive thanks goes out to the team, Katie, Estelle and Nathan um, and previous people that have worked for me as well. You know, they've all made Natalie's Blooms what it is today. 
Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful and I'm incredibly proud of all of them because they work really hard and do a really good job and I, I wouldn't have anyone else working for me if they weren't to that standard anyway and they are incredible. Um, so I want to thank you, all three of you, for a fantastic job. Um, for those that uh, don't know much about Natalie's Blooms, uh, Natalie's Blooms started in lockdown 2020. Um, I had lots of time on my hands. I was in, I had, we'd just adopted our daughter. Uh, so um, I needed to find work um, because fostering was my income previously. Um, and obviously with lockdown, no one was taking on or even letting me do any voluntary work to get my foot in the door. So I set up Natalie's Blooms um, basically because I had time to do my own garden. I thought I really enjoy this. And um, being outside is a massive uh, help for my mental health. And I thought, you know what, I'd really like to do this as a job. And uh, that's that's how it started, really. It was just me. Uh, sort of, I had to build it up from from. Uh, from scratch really um, and it's just thrived um, I've had lots of people come and go that have worked for me some have been absolutely amazing and some people have just used me for their own personal gain uh, there's been lots of ups and downs it's been really good and then really hard as well uh, and there is lots of hours of unpaid work that goes into Natalie's Blooms and um, just to bear in mind that I have got um, a busy family at home um, so I don't always get it right because I'm juggling lots of things um, and I have to you know try and get that right family uh, work balance and, and, and often you know Natalie's Blooms takes hours and hours out of my evening um, with the admin um, but you know it, it was good to remember uh, that Natalie's Blooms is still doing really well despite me feeling um, kind of low mentally at the moment um, you know that it was just what I needed really so anyway I'll stop waffling on and on and on but I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everybody for voting me and it was exactly what I needed and uh, a massive thank you to the rest of the team and uh, yeah so cheers